Oh, hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. <gasps> We've got that Friday feeling. I can't do this twist anymore, uh, Sarah, because of the new mat, so I'll just do the twiddle around rather well, than the spin. I'll kick my mat out the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, right, Sarah's right. going to do the spin. I've got the Friday feeling, yes! Oh, oh I almost, <laughs> went, almost <laughs> went a bit too far there. <laughs> You're oh, almost yeah. the Friday one and a half time spin, which <laughs> might not have ended too well. <laughs> uh, we're going to be talking all about uh, ink pads, aren't we? We've got three amazing collections in stock for you. It is a colour me happy i'd love to see some of the things you've been coloring but what are we going to learn in the next two hours sarah okay so we actually have lots of different types of ink pads in our collection and i don't know about you right but as somebody who is not an artist or not even that advanced of a like inky crafter type person i never understood what the different ink pads were when it was appropriate to use different ink pads I always thought if I didn't get a very good result when I stamped, that was because I'd done something wrong. Whereas I've come to learn different ink pads have different jobs for different reasons. Some are for stamping. You think all ink pads are stamping. Well, actually, no, some of them are for doing techniques and backgrounds with and whatnot. So what I've done today is a colour me happy with a difference. Where what I've done is I've got some of our Harmony Water Reactive. I've got some of our quick dry inks and I've got some of our pigment ink pads or paper pigments. So we've got the three different types of depth of colour ink pad collections that we have. And what we've done is we've put like little starter sets together on each of those for anyone who's just getting started. For any of those of you who have some of all of these ink pads, this show is going to be invaluable for you because we're going to look at all the different techniques, Joe. And I'll just give you a bit of a flavour. These are a selection, not all of, a selection of the cards that we're going to be doing, OK? So, for example, using our Harmony Water Reactives, I'm going to show you how you can blend the colours together, how we can bleach out the backgrounds, how we can then bleach out and lay more colour on top to achieve this sort of effect. While we're on about bleaching and laying colours, I'm then going to also do this one here, where I teach you how to mask off the colour using our drawing gum and then paint into the inside of the stamp and then how you get this lovely effect around the background. Now, if we're using all different types of ink pads, Joe, this design is brilliant because what this is, is in the background, we've blended these with the water reactives. Then what we've done is stamped with the quick dries. And then I don't know if you can see some of these look a bit shiny. That's because we've stamped with our opaque pigments, which are the ones that are ideal for doing your heat embossing with. So we're going to be starting to look at a little bit of heat embossing. This card actually uses all three types of the ink pads all at once. And um, I thought we'd do now. I won card of the week. Uh, I won card of the show, sorry, with a technique like this a few weeks ago. I don't know if that's the one that, one that won card of the week. I have won a card of the week, folks, just once, but it has <laughs> happened, right? But I taught everybody how to do this fabulous background technique using your leftover packaging, right? So we're going to be doing that one again later in the show and showing you how to get this lovely watercolour technique on here. Uh, I thought we'd do some blending and some silhouette stamping on this show as well. I'm being a bit optimistic how much I'm going to cover in two hours. Uh, How many I also is that? <laughs> thought we'd do some uh, stamping and layering, so we'd learn how to do the layering techniques like this. We're going to do that with the ink pads on the show. Uh, I plan to do this one too. I thought this would be nice to show you how you can wash out the colours on your stamps. Um, I thought we'd do a bit of embossing, not heat embossing but 3D embossing with your different layers using your different ink pads. So I thought we'd look at how to do that one. I thought we'd do some enamelling. Forget this one here, this has been enameled. Nice. So I thought we'd do some enamelling with these ink pads. So when I say that I've got an awful lot of techniques to show you guys, this is going to be a two hours not to be missed and this is your two hours. So if there's something specific you want to learn, if you've never understood why on one of these products today is the day to ask me i am at your disposal for the next two hours joe is at your disposal to be the the director of questions between all you guys chit chatting in the comments through to me i will literally get cracked on and show you as much as we possibly can in this time awesome loads of you chatting away as you always do i think you know color me happy is probably the most social show of the week definitely up there as one of them get in touch have a little bit of a gossip with us. Let us know what your weekend looks like, what you're going to be doing uh, with your weekend. You can let me know by sliding uh, over to Facebook, of course, and searching for Crafters TV there and messaging away in the group chat. Or, of course, you can search Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Uh, Carol Bachelor saying good morning again from North Carolina. Sarah's in in Australia. It's 3 a.m. Oh, that's a late one for you, Sarah. Good morning. Uh, Rosalind is in from Maryland. I can see Laurie's here in Arizona. Audrey's in uh, from 
North Fort Myers, Florida. Oh, I bet the weather's gorgeous. Mary's in from Ireland as well. Monica's here. She's saying hi to all uh, at CTV. You make our days great. You're, you're more than welcome. Uh, uh, Asia's saying hello from Brighton. Crafty AJ's in from Blackburn. Pamela's here uh, from New York as well. There's absolutely loads of you saying hello. Eve's saying it's going to be a good show. Gilmore's ready and set for a colouring coma as well. And Renee says, I so need this class. Eve is at work in Kansas City's Missouri. She's been waiting for this to get info on the types of paper to use with each of the ink pads and ah, the pens. Ah, good Can't questions. Can't wait. Good questions, yep. Um, Mary uh, in Tennessee says, my favourite is the Harmony Water Reactive ink pads. Just love the background and love doing all the colouring. Christine Meinl, I bought every ink pad as they were released and boy am I glad I did. I totally love them. And Ro Ambrosino saying as well, look for, looking forward to this class. Now, now, over the course of the class, we're going to be looking at water reactive ink pads. We are going to be looking at your pigment ink pads and also quick dry ink pads as ink pads too. So uh, we're really going to hopefully, uh, you know, see what that clear distinction is between the two. I always just thought ink pads, Sarah, when I first saw them, were just about putting ink on a stamp and then stamping the image. I didn't realise that ink pads actually, you know, were their own thing, totally away from stamps. Yeah, they, they are. And the thing is, I'm, I, what I'll do is, I, I'm not the expert. Leanne is the expert in our team on this. However, what I want to do is just try and explain to you what the different, in, in, in layman's terms, okay? So we have our water reactive ink pads, we have our quick dry ink pads, and we have our opaque pigment ink pads, right? So we have three different ones. Now they're all Harmony, right? But they have different pictures on the front. That's the easiest way. And also, we do them now in different colours of, um, can you see, they come in different. Now, when we first did them, everything was in black. So it might be that you've got some just in black, Joe, but um, they are, trust me, they're all exactly the same. As long as they have the picture on of the blender on this one, then we've got the uh, this one here to show that these are brilliant for layering. They're your quick dries. And then we've also got the ones here, which is your opaque pigments. Now, in Sarah's world, if I just come and explain to you, Sa like Sarah's world, right? And I'm going to go with these ones. I'm going to pick these two cards here to show you, Joe. These are all done with your water reactives. Now, what I would say is of all the ink pads we do, the water reactives are the most popular. And what they are is, so I remember when we first brought these out, Joe, okay, the most famous and popular ink pad all around the world is probably the Tim Holtz Distress Ink Pad. Now, what you'll find is you try and ink up a stamp and stamp with that, and it doesn't actually come out very clear. And, and when I first started crafting, that's what I did. I ordered all the Tim Holtz ink pads and I used to stamp with them and they weren't very clear. And I didn't really understand why it's, they're not very clear. But that's because those ink pads are actually designed for your background. So they're designed to blend together to give you these sort of effects. And actually, when I say this, they were designed as distressing pads. So it's about actually adding a little bit of stress around the edge. So they are not about giving you a crisp image when you stamp right i'll come on to watching pads for that these ones here Joe, the water reactives have what's called a long open time so the formulation and the formulation in these is completely unique to us okay it's based on the same sort of concept of your distressing pads in that they're water based and they're going to blend together but what we've done is we have increased the open time even further so on your water reactive ink pads you've got a much much longer open time which is basically the time before the ink pad dries which gives you more time to blend them together so we're going to do a lot of techniques like these like this one here where you blend different shades together but then also because they're water reactive jaw you can then use the water to lift out so it's like a bleaching effect so we're going to bleach the splatters in the background and also bleach around things like the little butterflies so i'm going to show you how to do that with the water reactives also with water reactives techniques like this you can stamp with them and then draw out the color because you're basically using them as a water basing and just drawing out that color so that's the first one and that is your water reactives okay now the next type of ink pad i want to tell you about are the quick drying pads now they are similar to the water reactive in that they are a water based ink but they don't have a long open time, which means that you can do techniques with them. Like if I show you this one here, this one here has been done with the quick dry. So quick dries are ones that are gonna give you really, really crisp stamped images. 
You can also do techniques like these with them. And I'm going to show you this one where we're going to, we are going to blend the colours together. It's a little bit more difficult to blend the colours together with them, but they will dry instantaneously. So they're perfect to kind of rub over. So we'll cover over when to use the quick, quick drying pads. But in a nutshell, I use them when I'm stamping an image. It's the best way to think. Stamping an image and I'm onto my quick dries, okay? Now the opaque pigments are different again, right? So your opaque pigment ones are these ones here. Now, your opaque pigments, I always think of them, they're the ones to emboss with, right? So can you remember that card that I showed you with this one over here, Joe? This one is actually all three on here. So in the background, where you want to blur them together, and then you want to do the full bleaching effect, that's done with the water reactive. Then, when we've stamped some of these images on the top, and you've got a really crisp stamped image like what you've got here, that is your quick dry. Then, when you've got this lovely shiny effect over the top that's been heat embossed, that is using your opaque pigment to heat emboss with. Now, don't worry if that was a lot to take in, because that was the 10 minute overview at the top, which is basically where I fill and talk a lot to give everybody a chance to get logged on, because we don't have everybody with us at the start of the show. We tend to find it takes 10, 15 minutes for everyone to get in. So that's me giving you the overview explanation. If you've got any specific questions, fire them off to Joe. While I'm getting ready for the first demo, Joe will be able to walk you through the starter kits that we've got on the show. And then also, when, once I get into demos, Joe will be able to feed your questions through to me live in the studio as we're going perfect uh yeah loads of people commenting away uh, rose said she was really looking forward to this class debbie is saying hi joe and sarah this looks like a show i'll be replaying a lot well that's good that you can do that anytime you want over on our website definitely a class to save for future reference if you're watching this and you know you've got crafty friends that you think might enjoy it you can always click share on the feed on facebook and it'll post it out and you could send it directly to people or you could just share it uh, which is awesome uh deborah lots of questions coming in uh, i'm going to keep the questions for a moment and we'll do a bit of a q a after the first demo if that's Right, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, Christine Meinl says uh, the best part about CC uh, line is a huge line of colour and they blend perfectly every time. Uh, Sally Bond said she spent loads on previous distress inks and ended up giving them all away once she got the water reactive because they were far superior. Uh, Jean Ooh, says I, I, I have. I mean, I love it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have this set and uh, love them. Wonderful quality, says Jean. As said, I've crafted for what feels like age and I'm just getting a good handle on the different streams. Inks, stamps, inks I blend with and inks to emboss so thank you for all of this education now there are three different ink pad collections for you in the show they are all priced exactly the same right so I'm going to share with you uh, the three different options exactly the same pricing structure same usual price same today price same platinum price across all of them if you're paying full price which no one is three pounds 84 per ink pad is what they work out at which is incredible value however uh, platinum members today you get this for 40 pounds or 56 dollars platinum members you're spending you're spending three pounds and seven pence per ink pad or four dollars 31 per ink pad that is shut the front door kind of value so you can either go for the quick dries which are these ones you'll get crushed velvet damson fuchsia honey pot jet black lagoon lemon tonic orange pink tulip plum jam uh, the Ocean Blue, the Spring Meadow and the Shore Bale. Or then you can go for the Opaque Pigments. So here you've got Chinese Red, Crushed Velvet, Fryer Brown, Fuchsia, Grasshopper, Honey Pot, Lagoon, Lemon Tonic, Orange, Parakeet, Plum Jam, Pink Tulip and the Twilight Grey. Uh, finally, you've also got the Water Reactive. That's going to get you Anthracite, Baby Blue, Damson Wine, Misty Morning, Noir Black, Pumice, Straw Bale, Spa Blue, Seal Brown, Smoked Emerald, Spring Meadow, Smoke Pearl, and Twilight Grey. Now, if you're after somewhere to store your ink pads, then there is no better place uh, than our ink pad storage trays. They are a half price deal for you. Uh, you'll get two in here, which is fantastic. So you can store 36 ink pads uh, in here. Uh, if you went for all the ink pads in the show, you just have, you just have to find a place for three others to go somewhere else. Uh, now, if you want to go for the storage, uh, sorry, not the storage, the blending collection, we've got that on the show for you as well. This is a perfect starter kit. If you haven't got anything, you've got everything in here. You've got the round and square blenders, the replacement blending heads, you've got the sponges, the spritzers, and that mat, which is going to save your work surface as well. We also have for you the watercolor card available on the show, which is this one just here, $3.99 or 
or five nine nine. Any three of those for ten pounds or fourteen dollars. Uh, we've also got the stamping card available for you as well. Uh, you can get four for thirty or forty two here. Uh, we call it stamping card. It's an everything card, really. You can do pretty much everything with it. It is so so versatile. Some questions coming in already. I'll put a few to you, seeing as we've got loads coming in, Sarah. Um, Deborah Spencer says, I tried doing a card this past weekend, but my stamp would not stamp out completely on my cardstock. It was the first time using the stamp. Am I supposed to do something to prime the stamp before I use it first time if I'm using opaque pigment inks? Okay, so it depends on what type of stamp it was. You've got three different types of stamps. You've got your rubber stamps, you've got your photopolymer stamps, and you've got your acrylic stamps. With rubber and photopolymer, you never need to do anything to prime them. With acrylic stamps, sometimes they do need a little bit of work. And I find just getting a roll of sellotape, you can just lie the sellotape over the top and pull it off the top, and that will pull sometimes some of like the little just a little bit of residue that it gets on the top and gets it primed and ready to kind of get started. So hopefully that helps. But if it's rubber or photopolymer, you don't ever need to do that. Awesome. Bernie Burns says as well, are there ever going to be re for the quick dry and water reactive ink pads? This was a question that uh, Leanne la answered just last week. Oh, good, because uh, I was just thinking I don't know the idea when I have to ask Leanne. <laughs> I think it might have been the week before, actually, I was here with Leanne. And basically, you know, there are brands out there that bring you re -inkers. What our focus is, Leanne says, is bring you the ink pads at the best quality and them lasting you the longest amount of time. It's very hard, uh, Leanne thinks, to re -ink an ink pad and it give you that same even coverage and even coating. It basically wouldn't give you the performance performance that the ink pad gives you in the first place so actually we'd rather make it affordable for you to replace them rather than re-ink them any other questions you've got keep getting them uh, into me and i'll pop them over to sarah uh, after a couple of demonstrations if that's all right with you sarah right should we get started then on the first one and i wanted to do this one first because i love this and this is with the water reactives okay so what i've done is joe i've just started out by stamping out that background so i've used watercolor cardstock and I've just stamped out using our, um, oh, what you call them, the collage stamps. This is if you want to do something mixed media -y, but you're not the most mixed media person like me, okay? Now, I'm going to use the Spring Meadow and then also the Smoked Emerald. And you see, watch what happens. You pick up the ink onto the pad like this, jaw, and you can just start doing all of the colour like this. So can you see, I'm just starting to lay down some of the little bits of colour onto here, John. I'm just using them in various spaces because what we're going to do is we're going to get a few of the different bits of colour and then start and blend the two shades into each other. All right, so I'm just coming down here, a couple of little globules of colour. And this is the first, first one, first of all, there. So I'm quite happy with those little blobs. And then I'm going to come in with the smoked emerald and I'm going to take the smoked emerald colour and then blend that into where we've got the spring meadow. So I found it easier to start with the lighter colour jaw and kind of build it up from there, if that makes sense. Awesome. Right, I'm going into my colour and coma now. Okay, colour and coma uh, activated. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say maybe it could be a su superpower. It's not very superpower-esque, is it, colour and coma? But I think not it's your really. crafty, your crafty superpower. Um, a lot of you still uh, sharing ideas, and loads of you loving the quality of the R-Ink pads is what, I, is what I seem to be getting from you all. Uh, Elgar said, no, I had no idea, inking idea, this was the topic today, so I'm really, really glad uh, to catch this show. Um, Pam, loads of, so many questions coming in, Sarah. Uh, loads and loads and loads, actually. Uh, Pamela says, should we use the finesse waterproof before first using the water reactive inks? Oh, mm. what a brilliant question and what a great idea. Absolutely, yes. So if you want to be able to stamp and then these not move, use that finesse waterproof. And then you can see, as I'm adding all of this colour, it's not, they're not moving at all, Joe. That's because right. it's waterproof. That's the whole idea. You want something that's proof. Whereas usually we're used to seeing ink pads are water-based. Waterproof means it's the opposite, basically. Perfect. Uh, Debbie would like to know what is the best ink for stamping sentiments? So my opinion would be quick dry inks would be brilliant for stamping sentiments if you just want an inked background. If you want it embossed as well, and we'll come on to a little bit of embossing later, if you want the embossing, then you're going to need to use your pigment ink pads, or pig pigments, because you're going to be able to kind of blend. You're going to want to do your heat embossing over top of that. Awesome. Right? Um, 
papers. Kimberly wants to know, hi Joe and Sarah, can you review what paper we should use, which ink pads, or do we have choices? Yes, so I would definitely say the water, um, this is the watercolour cardstock I'm using here, and it's absolutely brilliant, always, it's like a starting point for there. So the water, water, um, water, oh my life, there's too many waters, Joe. Uh, <laughs> your watercolour ink pad, uh, watercolour papers are perfect. I'm going to have to get on and start your doing my... watercolour paper is perfect watercolor your water reactive paper. ink pads. Is that what yes, you're trying to say? Yes, that's exactly what <laughs> I'm trying to do. You're going to have to carry right, me in okay. as well, Joe. Right, hang on. Before you go do this, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next, right? Because I've got here some paper towel and I'm going to use... Just got some water here. So all I'm going to do now, Joe, is I'm just going to flick some bits of water onto there. Can you see? So I'm just literally flicking that water on and then what that does is gives you like a it's going to give us a, a four bleached effect so you can see it's starting to react in the middle already and as i lay this down and pick it off you can see we get those splatters of water starting to appear can you see so that's Fantastic. how we get the the kind of four bleach, bleachy splattering effect here's the color and then also what we can do is these two butterflies here I'm going to lift out the colour so watch what you do you're basically just putting the water in the butterfly to start with Joe right so it's nice and kind of very wet on there and then I'm just going to come in and literally lift it out can you see and oh, the nice. more layers that we do the more it's going to lift out the colour in that um in that butterfly but it's not going to lift the black out because that's your waterproof is that right right there awesome. you go too many you're going to have to do all this talking for me joe because there was too <laughs> many waters but yes that is, that's that is exactly job. it that's waterproof so it stays on the base no pressure uh love using the water reactors over embossed paper for creating backgrounds says the lovely joy sampson um teresa wants to know did sarah use waterproofing to stamp the image yes she did uh jean says sarah is using a round blender but the bundle has square blenders in it what is the difference it actually has both the blending uh, selection when would you use the square over the round sarah that's a great point i honestly think you just kind of get used to using one or the other okay I, honestly i put the hand i put my hand down in the in the um i put my hand down in the little tub we've got down here and i picked up a round one first if i happen to have picked up a square one first i probably would have used a square one folks so it, it, it is six of one half a dozen of another whatever it is you prefer to work with fabulous uh horses for courses laurie says stamping card is my favorite uh, for making my card bases nice and sturdy it is it's very good all round uh, card weight in fact for a whole host of different things i love that i mean it's a bit of like an that alternative to using the drawing gum the isn't color. it and then what i'm going to do is i've got the uh, purple down here the crushed velvet right so i'm going to pop a little bit of purple on the edge here right and then what i'm going to do is is just use a little bit of water onto here so quite quite wet here we're going to pick up a little bit of that color now you can see it you oh see, yeah yeah and then i'm just going to bring this in and color oh, in these it really now. goes a long way doesn't it little tiny bit goes a really long way joe and it's because we're essentially working wet into wet so this this is already wet because we've been dragging the color out so i can use that purple into here that wet into wet and then if i want to go a little bit further we can always use that spring meadow and i can just pop a little bit of the spring meadow down here as well and then pick up a little bit of the spring meadow from here and take the spring meadow the other way and mix the spring meadow into the purple how so fabulous. I'm just doing a little bit of painting from here. So again, I'll, I'll keep going and painting, Joe. Um, can't do the talking at the same time. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. <laughs> uh, very, very busy uh, across uh, all the ink pads that you've seen so far, uh, which is fantastic. Remember, if you've got any questions whatsoever, you can get them in. I'd love to see any of your uh, inky projects as well. Please send those in to me. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Details are just down there for you. Send them in to me and keep getting your questions in. You can do that over on Crafters TV on Facebook or of course across on Crafts Companion over on YouTube, which is brilliant. Also at the same time, is there anything you particularly would love to see uh, in this show? I'm sure Sarah is feeling in an obliging mood and we'll do her best to uh, accommodate anything that maybe uh, you want to see. Uh, I, love, I love how Joe's just deciding there. Yes, Joe, aren't I always in an obliging mood? Always very obliging, I must yes. say. Unless I love yes. to use word obliging. I, I, thought, I really feel like we did well to get it in there. Uh, <laughs> Debbie says, I love the butterfly demo. Thank you for this, Sarah. 
Laura. Uh, chemistry and biology say never thought to use a paintbrush to remove the ink. Adding that to the things, uh, list of things I'm going to try this weekend. Ooh, Love that. Oh, yes. And this is why, do you know what? You, you always can learn something new. I watch a lot of the Crafters TV shows, the ones that I'm not on. And can I just tell you, when I'm watching, you know, the likes of, um, you know, Fiona, when Fiona comes in, does a lot of the Colour ha Col Me Happy shows. She is such a talented ink worker. Jan is wonderful when it comes to a lot of the mixed media stuff. I learned so much from Jan. Debbie has a completely different take on ink pads to what I do. So it's always lovely when we get different ones of us kind of doing those shows with you because you get different kind of feels in there. Now look there's that lovely purple in there and then what I thought I'd do is just to kind of finish it off is just get quite a bit of that purple, so get quite deep deep purple there. So we're just a little bit wet here and then all I'm doing is then just splattering the purple in the background as well. Can you see? So I'm just splattering the purple into the background. Oh, I didn't mean to quite hit that with there. Um, there you go. There, that's the splattering I was after there. Just needed a little bit more splatter. All right. So a little bit of a splatter of the, um, the ink pads there and then I'll uh, and then I can show you. Now, what I'm not going to be doing in this show, okay, is I'm not going to be doing uh, full cards. So I've shown you how to do the technique there, okay, and just before I get ink over everywhere else, I'm just going to clean that little bit up there, Joe. What you then do from there is to go on to turn that into the finished card, and I'll show you the card um, from the front. So the actual finished card, there we go. You can see all I've done there, Joe, is torn along these pieces here and just turn the little bits of paper up. You need to wait till it's really dry. So you just tear them and then lift some of the other butterflies from behind. Doesn't that look incredible? I, I think, I mean, I'm not really a mixed media artist, but I think this feels very kind of venturing into mixed media. And what I would say is it's all because it's those collage stamps in the background. So you'll see I do something watercolory, I've got something very artistic, and then you've got something mixed media look. But it's always the water reactive ink pads, I would say, are the main ones when it comes to these techniques. Mm, absolutely. And if you want to go for the ink pads, then we've got a fantastic selection of them for you on the show right here. As I said earlier, the three different selections, uh, they are all the same pricing information. Platinum members can get these. Well, they're £3.84 or £5.38 per ink pad. However, as a Platinum member, you will be getting them today for £3.07 per pad or $4.31 when you buy the collection, costing you £40 or $56. I'll quickly run you through the colours that you've got in here in your uh, water reaction. So you've got anthracite, baby blue, damson, misty morning, noir black, pumice, straw bale, spa blue, seal brown, smoked emerald, spring meadow, smoke pearl, and the twilight grey, which is fantastic. All of those are coming in there for you. Uh, right, I need to let you know already, I didn't think we are going to be saying this at this point of the show, the pigment ink pads, I'm afraid, have sold out. Uh, they have completely fully allocated. Uh, f if they're in your basket, please make sure you check them out or you will miss out on them. Uh, some of the individuals no doubt still available over on the website. However, the collection uh, does appear to have sold out. Let me uh, also remind you of the quick dry ink pads that we had in stock at the moment. These are always awesome because these are all about your stamping, which is wonderful. And in here, what you've got is you've got the crushed velvet, the Damson Wine, Fuchsia, Honey Pot, Jet Black, Lagoon, Lemon Tonic, Orange, Pink Tulip, Plum Jam, the Ocean Blue, the Spring Meadow, and the Straw Bale as well. Uh, again, same pricing information there, £40 or $56 if you're a Platinum member, meaning these equates to just over £3 uh, and around about $4.30 per ink pad. Now, uh, if you are new to a Secret Crafts Companion, hello, welcome, we love newbies. Uh, you might not be familiar though with all of the wonderful uh, benefits that come when you join Club Inspire. Take a look. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year. 
plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to Silver Membership, where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a Gold Member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum Member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold Member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. Uh, all the details. They have the fabulous club inspire. Lots of you chatting away. Uh, Susan says it looks amazing, Sarah. Just love it. Talking about that last technique there. Uh, Bernie Burnsfy says this card is beautiful. I love the technique for this stamp. Elgar saying I use this technique to pick up mistakes when I'm watercolouring. That's a great idea. Peg saying I'm trying to trying the circle watercolour technique today from the latest magazine. Awesome, let us know. I'd love to see a picture of how you get on it. In fact, I'd love to see a picture of any of your inky projects. Please send them over to me. Uh, details uh, where you can email them into along the bottom of the screen there. Uh, BA on YouTube says, I have all of the quick dry ink pads, just would not be without them. Beautiful, beautiful colours. And Elizabeth asks, can you colour with alcohol pens with opaque stamping and watercolour pens with opaque stamping? Do you want me to read that again? I've confused myself there. Yeah. Should I got, try it again? Right, I'll break it into two. Can there. you colour with alcohol pens if you've stamped with an opaque ink pad? As long uh, as you've stamped and heat embossed. So as long as you stamp and then heat emboss, you're absolutely fine. You can colour with anything after that. And can you, and the same for watercolouring, can, can you do, do it anything. in your watercolour? Once you've heat embossed, you can use any colouring medium with them whatsoever. But if you didn't heat emboss, you wouldn't use either, I'm guessing? No. no okay. It would mess up the tips of your pens. Awesome. Definitely don't do uh, any other questions you've got, this is definitely your opportunity over the next 90 minutes to get all of them into us. Crafters TV, if you're over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you're across on YouTube, do get them in, do let me know. It is very, very busy out there. What would you like to share with us next, Sarah? Okay, so one of my favourite products to use with any of these is drawing gum. And for those of you, I mean, have a little look on the website. We always keep drawing gum in stock, okay? For those of you that don't know how it works, what I've done is I've stamped this image, okay? So I've stamped this image, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, let's just get one of my little, um, let's get one of these tiny little paintbrushes out. Might be a little bit too small, this one. We need like a medium-sized paintbrush again, I think, Joe, here we go. Right, so I'm going to paint inside this image with the drawing gum, right? So you just literally, anywhere where we not, we're going to want to, it's basically a masking fluid. So anywhere where you're going to want to mask it off, you're going to paint with the drawing gum. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to all, all the way around, be careful not to get it where you don't want it though, right? Because once it's dry, then you'd have to rub that little bit off before you kind of work with it. So I want you to take your time a little bit more than probably what I am to do this, right? Now, once you've done that whole thing, you then need to put it to one side to dry. So I've had to leave mine, folks, before the shore to allow this to dry. So here's the one that I did before the shore. So that has now been painted all over with the drawing gum. And you can see I've been pretty precise there you go there's the drawing gum details are on the bottom of the screen okay now what that means is behind there it's going to be protected fully protected so we can go great gun gangbusters on the back of this so look at this i'm going to use the midnight so we're still on with the water reactives joe and i'm going to just align this in the center i'm going to use this here and then right in the middle starting with the dark color and then just lightening it round the outside, okay? So again, lots of ink in the middle and then just getting lighter as we go around the outside of this. It's very it's nice, isn't it? Very, very it's deep. gorgeous. And I'm building up plenty of it in the middle, right? 
So I'm going to go all the way around the outside, around here. And then I'm going to take it a little bit further. I'm going to go with a bit of the fuchsia, right? So it's a nice bright colour, the fuchsia. But actually, when I mix it, because these are um, water-based, it means that you can start and mix these together. So if I mix around these flowers, you'll find you don't get the fuchsia. What you get is a little bit of purple because the blue wow. and the pink together is going to mix to make like the purple so i'm just going to go nice so you mean to say you can mix like all your own colors basically from oh, all the different ink pads isn't that a gorgeous shade there that we're so working nice. with so just creating that lovely kind of purple shade to give it a bit of a purple glow around the middle and then can you see just how intensive it is in the middle there where we've got that very very dark shade all right and this is, this is what the water reactive ink pads do better than any other ink pads. You know, all the people are saying, oh, I love them. The, the results I'm getting with the water reactives are fantastic. It's that really long open time, right? So we've blended, we've created a whole new shade of purple, which is why, I, you know, don't let it worry you. If you look at the colours that we've got in, you know, I've used a blue and a pink there, but I've actually got a gorgeous shade of purple. And that's what you do, you can blend all of your own shades in there. Now, once we've got this to this stage, what we need to do now is reveal the, the image behind. And you're just going to use your finger and you're going to rub away that drawing gum. Oh, now, for fantastic. anyone who hasn't seen this technique before, and we teach this a lot on Crafters TV, I've seen all of the, the different um, teachers that we have on here showing you. It kind of rubs away into one big... Okay, it's, it's like elastic, it feels very elastic -y. can you see? It just peels away like this. You know, it's almost as magic as like when you see heat embossing for the first time. And all I'm doing is it's preserving the, the inside colour of here, so that what we're then left with is the ability to go on watercolour in the background. So all I would say is, if you don't have any of the watercolour, um, sorry, the watercolour, the Pebio masking fluid, this is the first time you're seeing it today, add it into your order. While we've got something like, you know, like the, the special offer running on this weekend, Joe, where you can save the extra £5 or $5, this is the time to stock up on things like your Pebio masking fluid that you might not have tried before. Because actually what that means is, it's like your Pebio masking fluid is coming for free. That would cover the cost of it, wouldn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And remember, spend £30 or more after your discount and you will get uh, that extra £5 or $5 off, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Right, A lovely so I've little, removed uh, all that masking bonus. fluid now. I think I've got everything. Yep, and we've got that lovely glow around the outside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and paint it in the inside, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, um, let's have a little look, I'm going to use a little bit of green for the inside and I'm going to mix a bit of green, I'm going to mix my own shades here. I'm going to mix the green with a little bit of the brown to create a new shade on the edge there. So all you do is you pop your little bit of colour down here. There's the green and then here's a little bit of the brown. So any of the greens and browns in the collection are all going to work in this way because we're essentially mix up, mixing our own new colours here, Joe. And I'm going to start just a little bit of water, right? So here's a little bit of, bit of my water down here. I'm just going to start and pick up some of that green, deepen it with a little bit of the brown, and then just start and paint into the, into the part here. And again, you're going to absolutely lose me here, Joe. Awesome. Uh, lots of people absolutely loving this particular collection. Um, Bonnie says, can you use the drawing gum to mask alcohol work? Uh, no. So. No, you can't. Okay. No, it's a watercolour technique, this one. Brilliant. Uh, is it quick drying the same as waterproofing? Uh, no, it's not. It's completely different. Okay. So um, all I would say is when we do the, the quick dry inks that we do are not at all waterproof. They're still a water based ink. However, what I want you to be doing is if you if you want to work with them, that's when you're going to use our finesse waterproof inks because they're again a, another completely different type of ink again, Joe. Awesome. Uh, thank you for that. Never heard of drawing gum. How unique. Love the concept, says Jean. Bonnie says, can you use draw... I did that one a moment ago. Uh, Chemistry Biology says, OMG, loving this Pebio demo. Lots of people love it. Uh, Maureen says, thank you for the excellent show. There is always something to learn. Sarah, your hair is lovely today. Oh, thank you. you. How thank nice you is that? Uh, if you want to place your order, remember, it's very easy to do so. You can do so at any point 
join the show over on our website, craftscompanion.com.co.uk.eu. That is also where you can watch and shop at the same time. So remember, it really is the home of Crafters TV over there. Uh, always make sure, I think it's always best practice with the start of all of our shows, clicking that Shop the Show button on the home screen uh, and have a look at everything that's on the show because, I mean, there's loads of things. Great stamps, sentiment stamps, floral stamps, embossing folders, storage, uh, rotating stamps, so much stuff on the show. We may not even get to show you all all of it even in pictures in the show so definitely get yourself over there click and uh, have a look and then remember if you love this we've done ink pad master classes previously haven't we Sarah? so if you really enjoy this yep. one you can absolutely go over to the website and find all the other ink pad master classes we've done have a look out for the master class playlist on our youtube channel and find the, the ink pad master classes there there's always something to inspire you over on the website which is fantastic michelle says can you ask sarah for tips on stopping ink from bleeding when I print di digital images from my inkjet printer and use my alcohol markers. Hmm, I'm not so sure on that one, so what, are you? What, um, what did she say she's used? The inkjet printer. Yeah. Yes, that, that's, so that's the problem. So if you're wanting to be able to work, if you want to be able to print and then colour, you really need a laser jet printer. Or you need to go, to, and you, what a lot of people would do is, you can go like photocopy the image. So okay. you, you know how you can go to, I don't know, when I was younger, you used to be able to go to like a photocopy store and get anything photocopied. Yep. Photocopy machines use laser toner as well. It's the laser toner that you're going to need to use if you're wanting to um, do colouring with your alcohol pens. Fabulous. I hope that answers your question, Michelle. If it Peggy helps, says, Michelle, I've got like a, um, I've got an inkjet printer and a laser printer, both at home. We don't really have any call whatsoever for a... A laser printer anymore but I still keep it just for when I'm wanting to print my uh, images to be able to colour with them. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm just putting a little bit of pink down here just so you know Joe and then I'm also going to put a little touch of the blue down so that I can make some shades of purple when I want to. So I've got the pink and the purple there and I'm going to do exactly the same just kind of start and blend them together and then just wash that colour out. Okay, look. Peggy says, what ink was used for the stamped image here, Sarah? The stamped image are always water reactive. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Oh, water, you water proof. Reactive, water resistant. <laughs> water, water resistant, uh, uh, Water resistant ink pad. Water proof. Uh, on water, <laughs> water proof ink pad on watercolour card with the water reactive ink over the top. Oof, that is a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, lots of you, uh, though, chatting away. Please keep sending me your pictures in. I'd love to see some of the pictures of the awesome things that you have been creating. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk is where you send them into, and we can have a little look at all of your gorgeous inky techniques. That would be absolutely uh, lovely. Very, very busy on these water reactive ink pads. Remember the pricing that you've got here, guys, because well, it is. Quite fabulous. All three, all of both of the um, both of the collections that we've got left have the same pricing. Uh, three pound eighty four or five thirty eight per ink pad is the price in essence when you buy the thirteen piece collection. However, Platinum members spend forty pounds or fifty six dollars. That means that they are three pounds and seven pence per ink pad or four dollars thirty one. Go out into a store out you know uh, on the high street or in a mall, Sarah, and try and pick up any ink pads for that. Let alone ink pads of this quality i mean the deal is absolutely sensational isn't it well that's that, that's why when, when we do these we try and make sure that you've got an awesome deal so that you guys can all got got stocked up while we've got stock and then uh, while we've got the great deal to kind of support the stock and that's so without the extra five pounds or five dollars off that everyone's also going to get as well so then we're going to throw in point. nearly another two of them for free as well i mean it is a stonking great deal in fact you know what sir it's not very rarely we do a spend over save is it uh here at crafters tv once in a blue moon once in a blue moon i mean this is got to be one of the lowest ever prices for a 13 piece ink pad collection when you're taking off that extra five pounds it means that club members platinum members can uh get this for 35 pounds today or 51 dollars which is absolutely bonkers value for money it really really is uh, so do grab them if you've been looking for them for a while um there is also um, there's also all, so much inspiration on the website for all of these as well. So definitely go back over there and have a look. Um, Georgina says she's got a stupid question for us, Sarah. No I didn't question, hear it. a stupid question. Go for it, Georgina. Hmm.
I know what she's asking so for. So she's saying, you're could all you... sitting really quiet while we hear this we're analysis to to, what's so what, going on. What Georgina's saying is, rather than doing this, could you put the colour on the flower, then put the masking fluid over the top of the colour, and then do the background, and then take the blending fluid away? Or would the blending fluid remove the colour? I think it would remove a little bit of the colour, to be honest. I wouldn't want to do it that way. So there's, it, the, the reason I've done it in this order is this is what's going to give you the best results. Awesome. Uh, loads of people still chatting away. This is beautiful, says uh, Marcia. Really, really enjoying this. Uh, lots of you absolutely loving it. Lots of you still sending, uh, now sending me in gorgeous pictures as well, which I really, really love. Um, there's so much to happen, uh, so much coming up this weekend here at Crafters TV uh, as well. I'm reunited with my on-air wife tomorrow. Debbie Fisher is back in the building, uh, which is awesome. We have got a fabulous craft along. And then I've also got an amazing craft house and craft faults with Craig and Debbie. I am really spoiled tomorrow. And there's myself and Debbie all day on Sunday with you. No, it's not. Hillary's going to be back as well on Sunday. I'm Ooh. so excited for that. Myself and Hillary bring you, uh, bringing the week to a close for you with uh, craft fault on Sunday night. It's very um, mysterious, this, uh, this project there, Sarah. Do I, I love it? I'm trying to clean up a little bit so that I don't get ink all over the back because what I would do is I'd go from there now that will trim down. I don't want to get my inky fingers all over. But again, if I show you the finished sample, here is the finished sample just there. You can see how you get that look. It's that lovely blend around the background jaw and then you're getting that mix of colours. The fuchsia and the, the lovely midnight are blending together to give you that lovely shade on each one of those petals. So that's two completely different techniques we've learned both with the water reactive ink pads. I'm going to get cleared down, I'm going to get my quick dries out and we're going to try the quick dries next. Absolutely fabulous. You guys are loving it as well. Uh, Sarah, your colouring is stunning, says Mary. Uh, absolutely loving it. Right, I want to go through a few options. Let's recap the colours that you are getting in the quick dry ink pads just here. So the ones you are going to receive are, oh, sorry, in the water reactive ink pads is what I should have said. Uh, the ones you're going to receive are the anthracite, the baby blue, do 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 do. Uh, you're also going to get the damson wine, misty morning, noir black, pumice, straw bale, spa blue, seal brown, smoked emerald, the spring meadow, the smoke pearl, and the twilight grey as well. All of those are going to be in there for you. As I said, price per ink pad for platinum members uh, down to just over three pounds per ink pad uh, or just around four dollars thirty one. But it's going to be less than that because everyone's getting that five pounds or five dollars off when they spend over thirty pounds or dollars, uh, which is fantastic. Really fantastic value for money. Something else I want to share with you talking about great value is this. Now it is our essential blending collection. So what you're going to get in here is you are going to get the blending tool. So you're going to get the round and the square with the two pads on the front of there as well. We're also then going to give you as well this, which is brilliant, which is a replacement set of um, sponges to go alongside those two. You've also got in here this, which is your water spritzers, and you've got your blending eggs too. They're not called blending eggs, they're called mini blending sponges, but they look like eggs to me. Don't eat them, they don't taste good. And you're going to get your mat in here too. Now the craft mat is wonderful. If you don't have space, like a dedicated craft space, where you can have the glass mat out all the time, fantastic to have this, because you can roll this one up and put it away, which is just fantastic. Uh, and it means that you can do all of those uh, techniques on there, but without ruining your water surface. We've also got the watercolor card. Now our watercolor card is amazing. So many people tell us about that. Uh, so the thing is about it is that it's the tooth of the card. It's the quality of that card stock allows you to absolutely load it up with water without it cockling or buckling, which is really, really important. So make sure uh, that you grab that. Any three of those, uh, three, or you can get three of these for £10 or $14 if you want to. The other one we have for you as well is the Pebio drawing gum that you've just seen. This is an absolute must if you want to stamp up or do any kind of water based colouring and you really want to get that perspective and do lots of different techniques then absolutely you can. Four ninety nine or $6.99 if you want to get your hands on that one. Right, I can see a lot of you with very full baskets. I'm going to give you a moment to check out. Whilst you do that, take a look at how you can watch and shop at the same time. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. 
You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop what you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Fantastic. Uh, all the details that have a watch and shop at the same time, which is brilliant. Let's um, just remind you of the quick drying pads that we have on the show. Fabulous colours here with these. Um, they are brilliant for stamping, but lots of other things that you can do with them as well. You've got in this collection, particular collection here, you've got the crushed velvet, the damson wine. You've also got in there as well the fuchsia, honey pot, jet black lagoon, lemon tonic, orange, the pink tulip, plum jam, the Ocean Blue, as well as the Spring Meadow and the Straw Bale. Uh, again, the same pricing information there for you. You're spending over £30 or $30, which means that you are going to get that extra £5 or $5 off, which is absolutely fantastic. Can you ask Sarah if you could use the glitter markers to give a shine over the top of something like the layered quick dry flower? Yes, you absolutely could. Do you know what? I've got a lovely layered quick dry flower here. I've got one of my sparkle pens. Let me just show you. I can go straight over the top. Because they're quick dry, these are going to dry, they, even though they, they're gonna, they're good, they are dry, so when we go over the top with the sparkle pen, it is not remotely impacting that there, right? That's amazing. So now, you've got, I don't know how well, yeah, you can see that sparkle there, can't you? So you can see we've got that lovely sparkle. The clear sparkle pens are a brilliant addition, by the way. Lovely sparkle straight over top of that. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. What I was really keen to show you is one of the primary reasons why people get the quick dry inks are for things like our layering stamps. So layering stamps or rotating stamps, anything like that, they're absolutely perfect for. And do you know what's come back in stock? Finally, yesterday we arrived, they arrived back in stock our 8 by 8 stamping platforms and the bases, right? So, if you go and have a little look on the website, the details of this are on the show. What it is, basically, is our stamping platforms, Joe, you've got the, the 8 by 8 it's got like the 8 feet around the edge, but then also it's got the base, which is the magnetic base, which the feet just fit into. So when you're wanting to do things like your rotating stamps, what I've done with this one is, I pop the rotating stamp in the middle and then I'm going to layer it up four times to get a perfect stamped image. So let's have a look at what colours we should use. I've got like a nice, yeah, we'll start with a nice spring I'm just going to give you the pricing details for that oh, 8x8 on, yes. magnetic platform. Now, it's such a last minute addition to the show, I don't have graphics to show you uh, the price of it. What I can say is £22.49 in the UK in the UK, 22.49 in the UK. It's available in the US as well. Uh, what I can say is get yourself over to the website, click shop the show on the home screen and you'll find it in the list of products. It is down a little bit towards the bottom, Sarah, but it is there and it is back in stock, so don't miss out on it. Yeah, well, it's just being added onto the show last minute because the stock has just arrived in. Now, we say that's quick dry. I don't want to touch it all over with me dirty fingers now, Joe, but if I was to rub over that now, look at this. It's absolutely perfectly dry. That's what's brilliant about this. Now, if you are wanting to do the multi-layered ones, did you see I put the first one down, said Crafter's Companion in the bottom corner. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come with the next shade. I'm going to lie it over the top and that quick dry ink will literally grab to the cardstock straight away. So we take this, I'll put it in the same place as the last one, right? And then rotate it through 90 degrees. So now Crafter's Companion's in the bottom left. And if I stamp this down now, you can see we can get that lovely second stamped image all over the background there, right? So there's the second one. Then I'm going to come in, do you know what, I might just give it a little bit of a clean down before we go, because you don't really, you should really try and clean them down between each one. You don't want to kind of cross infect your ink pads, okay? These are all, all the rotating stamps, by the way, are photopolymer as well. So they're going to, um, they're going to take the ink really, really well. Don't worry if some of the ink kind of stays on there, right? So we get all that laid up. 
Now we're going to go, and this time, look, I've put the Crafters Companion top right. So all we're doing is re-rotating them 90 degrees every time we do this. There is my third layer, looking good, starting to come together, get all this cleaned off. And then the fourth layer, the fourth and final one I'm going to do, I'm going to add in this time the parakeet. And so I can come with the fourth layer and build up that layer of ink on there. And you'll see the last one that we do, the crafter's companion this time needs to go in the top right. And that will go into all the gaps left by the previous three stamped, stamped levels. So you've got, you're going to get no crossover, it leaves all that gap and that is perfect. And because it's a quick dry, I can come in and rub over and then it's not going to kind of blend them all together. They're going to be absolutely perfect. So that is where your quick dries really come into their own job. Being totally honest, that is the best possible use for the quick dry stamps. Awesome. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to get, um, I'll get ready next, I'll just clean down my board, clean down my stamp, and I'll do uh, that lovely flower that I was just showing you. All right, brilliant deal. Uh, Rosalind says, got my stamping platform and base this morning. Boom. Mary's saying, run and got that platform and base. They sell out quickly and I love mine, she's saying. Do, do. Susan says, I love my stamping platform. It's just fantastic. Uh, the magnet is just brilliant. Uh, and a lot of you chatting away there in the comments as well. Uh, right, let me recap for you the colours that are in the quick dry ink pads, which are fantastic. So in the quick dry, you've got crushed velvet. You've also got in there as well the damson wine, uh, fuchsia, honey pot, jet black, lagoon, lemon tonic, orange, pink tulip, plum, dry, uh, sorry, quick dry, ocean blue, uh, spring meadow, and the straw bale in there as well. They are awesome because they are really really fantastic uh, they dry instantaneously as soon as they hit a porous surface but of course whilst on your your stamp or anywhere like that that is non-porous it means that it's going to still stay nice and wet which is fantastic uh, right let me show you the rotating stamps now these are another one they are on the show but they are such a last minute addition uh, we don't have details for you let me show you these rotating stamps so what you've got here we did these before square style ones and they are um, round this time which is awesome so you've got have a beautiful day and what you've got are four different stamps but when you layer them up together this is what you achieve and the great thing is because it is a, a rotating stamp sorry I should say what it means is that it's going to give you the ability to stamp in the different colors so it's the one stamp as you turn it it builds up to this absolutely gorgeous full lush stamp design as you can see here uh, we've also got happy birthday to you in this one which is the meadow reef and then finally you've got the schmetterlings uh, the butterfly wishes are uh, coming your way in there as well 44 pounds uh, if you are in the UK 16 pence 52.95 if you are in the US, you've got a 15% saving there, which is fan blooming tastic, I think. Uh, right, next up, uh, we have got the ah, these sentiments. Now, these are awesome because uh, these are fantastic because there's such a lovely vast array in here. And the great thing is that what you can do is you can customize your own sentiments. So you've got love, thank you, happy birthday, friend, smile, things like my, let's, you make me special so very much. You've got 19 stamps in this one just here, which is your essentials. You've then got your frame sentiments and you've got 13 stamps in this one just here. And then finally, your ornate swirls gives you 11 stamps here as well. 43 elements in total for a fantastic price. Buying two, getting one free which is awesome now if it's stamping you are is the name of the game for you the birthday month stamps and these are absolutely awesome the reason they're awesome because we all have a birthday flower which is brilliant because it means that if you are stuck for a card these really will get you out of a hole which is fantastic so you've got january here your carnation you've got the primrose as well in february this one is your daffodil which is going to come your way in march uh, then we've got April, which is the daisy, which is fantastic. Are you an April birthday, Sarah? I am an April oh, birthday. I so. uh, you've also got May, which is the uh, lily of the valley. Then we also have this one here, which is June, which is the rose, which is just stunning, isn't it? This next one here is your delphinium. That's really lovely, your July flower. August is the gladioli. Uh, this one here is September. That's my one, the aster. 
Uh, this one, October, is your marigold. November birthdays, it's the chrysanthemum that you've got. And then finally here as well, you've got the poinsettia. They are absolutely gorgeous as uh, fussy cut, uh, layered up over each other. They work perfectly uh, like that. I think they are really, really lovely. Uh, so you've got those there. We also then have as well the 3D textured embossing folder. These have got so much detail in them, these. Uh, this one here that you've got, the first one, is the gossamer lace uh, this first one here and it really is if you get nice and close up on this finished part here you can see just how incredibly textured these are you can really see the depth and the dimension of that incredible emboss that you've got on there which is just wonderful the next one you've got here this is my favorite and mel b's favorite it's the leopard it's the lavish Leopard print, oh, look at that, isn't it gorgeous? This one just here is your vintage scroll, as you can see, I love that. It really, it's like the Palace of Versailles, that's what it reminds me of, that one. Uh, this one here is your peony bouquet. You've then got your climbing ivy, I love this one. And this one just here then is your grande schmedling, your grande butterfly with the dandelion clocks in there as well. 32 pounds or $46 is a great deal on those. You can of course use uh, your club inspired discount on there as well. Right, I know we're gonna head back to Sarah. Uh, we've got so much more to share with you. Only just, uh, just about halfway through this show. Uh, Patty's just ordered the monthly florals. Um, Laurie says rotation stamps are so much fun. Uh, Shadai is asking, which of the ink pads can we use glycerin with Sarah? You don't need to. So glycerin is if you want to artificially increase the open time of a product that doesn't have a very long open time. Like for example, our aqua pens do not have a very long open time because the pens they designed to they mark as they'll dry uh, as you colour with them. Whereas scribbling them down on a mat and adding glycerin makes them work like our quick dry, uh, like like our water reactive ink pads. So it it it's not the case, but I'm, I want you to think as though. The water reactives already have glycerin in them. They don't have glycerin in them. They've got a proper chemical which does the same technique, okay? So it's very clever how the, the formulations are worked out for these, but it's essentially what you're trying to achieve by adding the glycerin in. Does that make sense? Absolutely, total sense. Right, brilliant. Come on, let's do a little bit of stamping with these. And you can tell we're doing an inky show today, can't you? My fingers are absolutely up the naffs here, right? Now, these are photopolymer stamp. Oh, and it's a double layer stamp. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the background layers first of all and I'm going to start off by stamping. Let's stamp the rose here and let's stamp the um, let's stamp the bit coming down from here, right? So I'm going to stamp the two down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick these up, Joe, so that I've got the, them stamped first of all. Oh, look at this. It's stuck down here, right? This is when you want to make sure you've got plenty of magnets on there, right? So I'll put the magnets this way so they're going to be on there fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two shades of the green and I'm going to use two shades of the pink. So you start off with the lighter shade of both. So I'm starting off with the lighter shade of my green on my quick dry for here, right? And then the lighter shade of my pink on the base floral. And that's going to give me all of that ready to kind of layer up, right? And then as we turn this over, Joe, and stamp these down, that is going to give me all of the detail that comes from that first base design. Yep. Awesome. And then what we're going to do, because we can take these off now, and while they're off, I'll just give this a nice little bit of a clean, because I'm keeping my workspace clean now. Now, watch this. You then take the second layer of the floral, and just you're going to layer it up over top of that very very first layer so we're going to layer it up and make sure that all lines up and then i'm going to do the same with the leaves here i'm going to layer those leaves on and make sure they all line up so just how we're wanting them to all right really happy with that there now then all you do is you're essentially picking up the stamps like this and once we've got the stamps picked up, this time I'm going to go with the darker shade of the pink and then also the darker shade of the green. There we go. And then what we do is we take these, turn them over, they'll stamp down exactly over the top 
because that's where we put the stamps. This is why your 8x8 stamping platform is so critically essential because it's allowed us to know that when we lie this back down, it's going perfectly into the same place. Awesome. And then essentially what you're doing, Joe, is you're just going to take this in that set. And we've got that set coming up um, later on, haven't we? That's your nature's garden, your rose bloom. So you're going to take this one and we're just going to, you see, that would just go over the top of there and that would cut that one out. This one would go over the top of here. We've got these on craft vault later, so I might keep this to finish doing the card. Cut them out like that. And when you lay them up onto the front of the card, this is the effect that you're going to get. And remember, we've gone over the top there with a little bit of the sparkle. So looks fabulous. Absolutely so there's awesome. kind of third technique we've got done. So I'm not going that fast, really, am I not? Uh, halfway into the show, we've, we've done three techniques and we've also done the, um, the rotation. I'll get cleaned down. Someone's been asking about embossing. So I'm going to be doing some, um, some embossing next, Joe. Fabulous. I love embossing. It's a really, really awesome technique. Uh, Peggy's letting me know she just got the stamping platform as well. She's saying yes uh, in the comments. Absolutely. Uh, it's so good to have that back in stock. Uh, remember, if you want to see everything you've got on the show, pop yourself over to the website, click the Shop the Show button and have a look at all the things that are coming up there right now details are on your screen for the quick dry ink pad uh, so do definitely grab those and remember the great price that you've got in, you've got on these when you're buying 13 of them platinum members three pounds seven or four dollars 31 if you want to get your hands on those let me take a moment to remind you of some of the other stuff that's on the show this evening as well uh, which is your ink pad storage trays as you can see here two of these normally six pieces would be 16.99 however you're going to get 12 pieces for that price which is fantastic say so you mean you can store 36 ink pads in here which is brilliant I did just show you this a moment ago. It's the Spectrum Noir Blending Tool 7-piece collection, $28.50 or $38. You've got two of the blending tools, two sets of the refills. You've got the mini blending sponges, the spritzers, and that foldable, rollable uh, mat, as I should say. We've also got the card as well. It's the watercolour card, this one just here. Three of these for £10 or $14. It's perfect for your aqua markers, your water reactive inks, all of your watercolour as well, which is fantastic. It's $3.99 or $5.99 if you want to get your hands on that one. Now, we've also got the stamping card available for you on the show as well, which is this one here. Uh, four of these for £30 or $42. Of course, you could use your Club Inspire discount on top of that as well. If you want to mix your own colours uh, and you want to do that in a palette, then absolutely you can do that. $1.99 or $8.95 uh, is the price there on that. Now, uh, I just want to share with you again a 20, this one just here, it's the Nature's Garden Six Piece Stamp and Die Rose Bloom. Uh, it's available on the show. $13.99 or $13.96 is your price. Uh, it's a 30% saving there for you on that one. Right, I want to share with you uh, again all of the fabulous details of Club Inspire. So here's Sarah, take you through them. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to Silver Membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a Gold Member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends. 
to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly ditchy mag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there of Club Inspire. Jane's just ordered the platform. Uh, she's been waiting for it for ages. Laura's got her hands on the Rose Bloom stamp earlier as well. Uh, right. There's no, <laughs> there's no details here. Right, I have to be honest with you, all right. What happened was, the start of the show was so incredibly busy, the pigment ink pads went and sold out. Then the water reactors have also now gone and sold out. But, Sarah, I feel like, you know, we promised people an ink pad masterclass. We can't just give them an ink pad masterclass, can we? on one ink pad set. So well, what on earth are we going to do? Then, then it's not a real ink pad masterclass. Uh, so, I'm ink pad masterclass and you've seen the demos I've planned to do. I've got all sorts still to show you. So right. listen, this is what we always say is going to happen with our ink pads. We can't keep them in stock, folks. I'll still do all the techniques and tutorials and teach you it. Please don't shout at us for not having stock of them. I'd rather do all of the education and teach you it and then just know when they come back in stock, at least you know and you've seen what to do with them. Absolutely. So it might look a bit strange. There might not be no details on. Shall I just stand here by the side? Of, like, I can be, I like a pretend to be. I feel just fill the void that's left. Well, I mean, you'd, you'd look no? all right there. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's a void oh, where you, you would be, though. Uh, I can't. I can't. I could. If it wasn't for social distancing, I'd come and stand delicately next to you at the side <laughs> of the screen. But you know, we can't do that. Any questions you've got, though, seriously, guys, still keep getting them into us. Send me pictures as well. I want to see what you've been up to with all of your different Inca Technics studio at studio at crafters companion.co.uk if you send those into. If you want to chat with me, you can do that over on Facebook, Crafters TV, or Crafters Companion over on YouTube as well. Uh, right, okay. Oh, I feel like a bit, I'm a bit like out of my, I feel like my comfort blanket's been Ooh. removed, Sarah. You'll be all right. You keep, you, you, you'll be able to keep me right. You keep reading all the comments, Joe, and then Okey keep doke. up what's going on. Right, we've had a lot of people asking about embossing. So I've got those fabulous embossing folders that we've got on the show. And can I just tell you, the Vintage Scroll is probably one of my all-time favourites of all the 3D folders we've done. Now, the embossing folders are five by seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut myself a couple of pieces of card that are just less. So they're 4.75. Let's do a couple of them at this size. 4.75 by 6.75. So they're just less than your five by seven, all right? And so they'll just fit nicely inside your folder when we work with them, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna ink up the background piece first. So I'm using the water reactives and I'm gonna mix between, let's have a little look. I'm gonna go lemon tonic, I'm going to mix the lemon into, let's have a look, I'll use the square one this time, since a lot of people have been asking, right? I'm going to mix the lemon into the orange, the orange into the fuchsia. So I'm just going to pick up plenty of ink on here to get started with, Joe, and I'm just going to start blending the yellow in first. Gorgeous, isn't it? What a lovely pop of colour that lemon tonic is. Lem lemon tonic's fabulous because it's really, really bright as it was. So did you notice I'm, I'm kind of holding this like this instead of just doing it, like holding it on the top because I want a lot of, um, you know, a lot of ink on there to start with, Joe. I'm just kind of just building it up as we're going down. So I've gone around, I just want to go probably a little bit further than a third of the way down with the lemon tonic. So there's our lemon tonic. Now, make sure you've got plenty of ink on because what I don't want to do, if I'm going to use this same applicator to come into the orange now, I don't want to be going back over the yellow. So there's my lemon tonic. Then coming into the orange, so I'm going to bring the orange into here and blend the orange up there into the lemon tonic. Awesome. I just love that you're going to be able to create some of your own colours uh, doing this as well. Uh, I've just purchased rotating stamps. They are beautiful, uh, says Jay Sutherland. Uh, loads of you uh, love those. They are um, back in stock as well. Uh, all of them available over on the website for you. Uh, so remind me which ink pad this is, which type of ink pad this is again, Tara? These are the water reactives. The water reactives. And, awesome. and, and this is the, what we talk about. So because they've got such a long, uh, long open time jaw, it means the blendability in these. Look at that. We've blended the yellow into the orange perfect. And then I'm going to do exactly the same now with the fuchsia. 
effect, I find it easier when you're coming in from the bottom. So uh, when you're coming in from kind of one end as it was, because we're blending that fuchsia up and into the orange now. Now I've chosen colours that will blend a little bit more naturally. So I know that orange and pink will blend lovely. I know that orange and yellow will blend lovely. To be honest, I could have blended the pink into the yellow if I wanted and just done a two colour ombre. But I think that three, three shade ombre there looks lovely. So we've got that lovely kind of ombre going all the way down. Just feels like it needs a little bit more ink on this bottom corner here. So you want your inking on the base, first of all, to get you started. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that lovely embossing folder. And what you'll feel is one edge will be indented, one will be raised, right? So there's the raised one. I'm going to put it behind so that we actually raise this into the indentation, okay? So I've got that into the indentation and I'm going to pop this through my Gemini. So I'm just going to get the plates. Because this is a 3D folder, what you need is you need your clear, your magnetic and then your frosted plate and you're going to pop that in between all of them and we're going to send that straight through your Gemini machine there. Awesome. Uh, Asia is asking which ink is the best to colour inside of the embossing folder? You know, like the letterpress technique? Yes, letterpress technique. So your water reactive inks are the best one to do that with. Awesome. Brilliant question, that one. Uh, right, let's have a little look. Can you see that's been you can kind of see them a little bit. Watch what happens now though. I'm going to stick with that fuchsia, right? And I'm going to just bring that fuchsia and now rub it over top. <gasps> Sarah, boom, look at that. Boom. And because I'm using the same shade as what's in the bottom, it just makes this whole thing look very, very expensive, right? And then if you want to go and kind of, so if I want to deepen that a little bit further, I want to go darker down to here, you can always bring in a deeper shade. So for example, I've got, I happen to have a bit of fryer brown there, right? So I can bring a little bit of brown on there because you just want a contrast shade to show all of that off, but you want something that's going to blend in really, really well. So look at that there now. How easy was that to do? Loads of people asking about the embossing. And I thought, here we go. We'll start and bring that in and blend, the, blend those up together. So that is giving you that lovely kind of two-tone embossing shade. And then again, once you've got it, I always like to do the work on it. Then once I've done the work on it, then you can come and trim it. You know, if you want to trim just, just some slight edges off there. And once you've got edges trimmed off, might trim a tiny little bit more. Um, once you've got the edges trimmed off, that's when you can then go and deepen the colour around the edges even further if you want. So while I've got that brown on there, what I can do is pick up the brown, right, onto the edge, and then I'm just going to, can you see, just a little bit of brown around the edges there. Just th This is traditional distressing, as a lot of people know it, okay? So you've got that traditional distress. This is how you build up layers and layers of colour. But I would say it looks particularly good if you're doing it with your um, the water reactives. The water reactives are absolutely the ink pad of choice here for this sort of technique, Joe, um, because, they, because of that long open time. So you want that ultimate in blendability as it was. And you see, all I'm doing is I'm keeping everything. I'm keeping this kind of in one place so that I can build up and move the design around it. I mean, come on. How fabulous does that look, Joe, with awesome. that mix of colour? Fabulous. Really Absolutely awesome. Fabulous. Looks like it's something that's been manufactured, not something that you've created. Uh, also, loads of you chatting about it. L Pamela saying, love the colour. Asia says, that is amazing. Robin says, wow, Sarah, looks like a fiery sunset. Absolutely Isn't beautiful. It? And Bernie Burns says, oh, this is really beautiful. Ooh, do you want to have a little look? He's the one that I'd done. Um, so I hadn't used the brown on this one. I just, so that, look at the difference. This one I've used the brown. I think I quite like it with a bit of the brown on. But even just as soon as you put that fuchsia above the yellow, just gives you that gorgeous blend, doesn't it? Yeah, really, really pulls really it clever. all together seamlessly, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. I keep sending your pictures in as well. I'd love to see some of the photos uh, that you guys are making. I'd love to see, actually, you guys try and maybe to recreate some of the stuff that Sarah's doing in the show. I reckon you've definitely got time and to send us a picture into. Uh, right, it is very busy. Uh, lots of you still chatting away. Diane says, Sarah, I love this. I have got to try it. 
it. Absolutely. Guessing we can do that with any of our embossing folders, can we, Sarah? Oh, any. And for the 3D ones in particular, look fabulous. And that one that I was using is the Vintage Scroll. Let me just tell you, it is absolutely perfect for that technique. So mm. I would definitely recommend, we've got them on the show today, I would definitely recommend getting hold of them 3D folders because they are perfect for doing that with. Yeah, oh, absolutely. we can put the details up for that one as well for you, Joe. In fact, do you know what I could even do? Because this is going to make you feel a lot better, Joe, right? I'll come over here with my little basket. So I'll bring you the little basket. You okay. can show everyone some samples while I get ready for the next demonstration. And we can make you feel even better with all them... Look at the details are on the side of the screen. <laughs> They're on the side of the screen. And then there's your basket. Wonderful. You feel at home Thank now. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm going to show you the samples in that case. Uh, While well, Sarah gets ready for her next demonstration, uh, let me share these with you as we go through. They are absolutely uh, gorgeous. They really are stunning. So you've got your Peony Bouquet, which is these ones just here. I think they are stunning. Then this one, that one's the, uh, the lace there, uh, as you can see. Again, really beautiful. Look at all of those fantastic backgrounds in there as well oh you've got the schmetterlings on here too uh, embossing folders and inks really are an absolute match made in heaven <gasps> with the grande butterfly check that out kaboom boom bang a bang that is amazing uh, then again the butterflies here i love uh, the lavish leopard print that you've got in here as well again beautiful for uh, using I'll tell you what though this is awesome look, look at that one so that's the leopard print but it's then been done with a beach hut so it's like a sea theme i think that is absolutely so clever and also someone's put look what someone's done underneath here they've sort of ah, put that in there so it keeps it all standing up right i think that's very clever who's done this i feel like they need a shout out leslie pyle congratulations i don't know why i'm saying congratulations you haven't won anything uh <laughs> other than my love and respect uh but yeah i think that's awesome uh, again a really lovely one here uh, with the butterfly too really beautiful really nice variation on the samples and the leopard print here being done with the giraffe but look at that another great way to do it with the giraffe so as it looks a bit like giraffe skin i think it does don't you Really, really gorgeous. Uh, the very talented Nicole Brotherick did that one. Uh, right, very busy on those. £32 or $46 there is your price. Let's share with you some pictures that you guys have been sending in because we love it when you send us your pictures. Uh, Robin Miller sent this one into us. Oh, this is quite grungy, Sarah, this one, isn't it? Well, I absolutely love that. Oh, hey, Robin. <gasps> Robin, I'm super impressed. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, that is what I call mixed media. I love them fairy stamps. <gasps> oh, Robin, Robin, I am absolutely in awe. I am in awe of your talent here. That is really similar to the butterfly one I did, but I actually think a lot better than the one I'd done. So, um, Robin, very impressed there, darling. Mm, Fabulous. Really love that. Joy, the lovely Joy Sampson from uh, New York sent this one into <gasps> oh, us as well. Joy, so that... look at that background. Look at how she's she blended the colours in the background there. I love that one, Joy. Mm. And actually, Joy sent a couple in, Joy. Have a look at this next one that Joy's done. Again, you guys are loving your mixed media techniques today, aren't you? That looks very media to me. Um, mixed media to me. I love that one, Joy. Really nice. Kimberly Skip sent this one into us as well. <gasps> love the shells. Oh, a girl after my own heart, Kimberly. Loving the shades of purple. That is fabulous. Absolutely love that. Thank you guys for sending all these samples in. That's lovely, Kimberly. And then look at this one we've got from Joanne. Joanne love sent it. this one here. Joanne, you've got them blends absolutely perfect. And then, can I just say, I love Joanne. So, Joanne, if look at this next one. This is what I won Card of the Show with, Joe, a few, uh, few weeks ago, and actually went on to win Card of the Week. And I thought we could maybe do that technique that I did in the background. I taught everybody how to do that special background technique. I thought I'd cover that again in one of my demos later on in the show. We've only got half an hour left, mate. But I'll definitely do that one next season. It looks like Joanne was listening and maybe learned a lot from it. That's brilliant, Joanne. Awesome. I love it when that happens. Teresa has sent this one into us as well. Love that floor. Floral, uh, oh, inky, the inky that, floral. That is there. a gorgeous stamp, that one. Teresa, that's lovely. And I love the bright, just very, very bright, that isn't it, Teresa? Really nice, happy colours. I love a bit of fuchsia. Brilliant. Ooh, hey, Asia this sent one. this next one in. Oh, with the florals. It's Asha, sorry. Uh, with the floral elements. How beautiful. Do you know, she's got that blend perfect. That is one of those 3D embossing folders I was talking about, Joe, how you can get that lovely shading on the back 
with the fr the three D folders. That is amazing. And then Christine next has done one. Now that is the the stamp set that I was showing you with using the rotating stamps. Oh, should we have another go with the rotating stamps next? Actually, yeah, Joe, I absolutely. Think lovely. Request market. coming in as well. Patty's asking if you could. Um, Patty's asking if you could ink up. One of the folders, you know, you put the ink in the folder, uh, Sarah, before the end of the show as well. Oh, if you want to see that, Patty, I can absolutely do that for you. No problem at all. Brilliant. Keep getting any requests or questions in uh, to me, and you can do that over on Facebook, Crafters TV, or across on YouTube by searching for Crafters Companion. Pop it in the comments, and one of our social media superstars will uh, pop it over to me. Uh, right, back to you, Sarah. Right, I'm just trying to pick myself a couple of nice colours. Uh, fuchsia, I think, would be nice. You think we should have a bit of grasshopper in with the butterflies? Yeah, there's some nice shades. Right, I've, I'm using that 8x8 platform again, folks, right? Let me just tell you, okay, these are absolutely genius, right? And they've just come back into stock. It was literally, they arrived in our warehouse last night, so they've only been added to the show this morning, which is why we haven't got any details on the screen for you. But basically, it's our 8x8 stamping platform where you get the base, which is magnetised, and the top. Now, what's so brilliant about it, for things for you, like your rotation stamps, Joe, look what I do ahead of the show. I just position my stamp right in the middle because it's got like a marker so you can see where the middle is. So I plan them right in the middle. And then also, I just take a piece of cardstock and put my piece of cardstock, cut slightly larger, put that right in the middle. I'll be really honest, right, guys? Whenever we have like things like the rotating stamps or the layering stamps in stock um, and we don't have the 8x8 stamping platform in stock, what I end up doing is, is I actually, I'll just let you have a little look at it, there we go, um, is what I end up doing is I still use the 8x8 stamping platform and I just breeze over the fact that we haven't got them in stock. Because I, what I really want to say is, it is 10 times easier if you have our red by head stamping platform, but don't let that put you off buying the product today because you need the plant platform. So if you are one of the thousands and thousands of people who've ordered any of them stamps I've been demoing with while we've been out of stock in, of the platform, let me tell you, these, I mean, how many times did these come in and go out last, last year, Joe? Well, oh, they'd literally so come many in, times. we'd have them for a week or so, they'd all sell out. We'd be waiting a couple of months for them to come back in, they'd all go out. I would say while we've got the five pounds or five dollars off when you spend 30. One of the best ever prices. This. It's literally awesome deal on the stamping platform just for that. However, that is just a Brucey bonus because actually I'd be looking at while we've got them in stock, just get them while we've got them. So the key thing for me is, Joe, is I've got this lined up in the middle. And what it means is, let me just show you, if I, like, let's take the first colour. Let's go with the lemon tonic, right? Oh, actually, let's go next level. Let's get some extra ink next pads level. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go next level. Let's go lemon tonic and honey pot. Let's go ocean blue. What else have I got here in my uh, quick dries? Uh, let's have a look. I've got a little bit of damson wine can go with that. Oh, parrot, maybe it's better parakeet. Uh, I've got some lagoon can go with that one as well. Fuchsia, let's have a look. I'll put the fuchsia with the damson wine. I'll put these two together and then I'll put these two. Right. Okay, you're probably wondering what I've just done there. What I'm actually trying to do is I'm going to show you... No, oh, I want all quick dries, so you aren't going to work for me there. You can go there. A couple of quick dries, and then a couple of quick dries here. Right, so I'm doing some multiple shading, because watch this, right? I can start with my lemon tonic jaw, and I can do my butterflies around the centre, right? And I can stamp this down. So I'm going to put Crafter's Companion in the bottom right-hand corner, right? And I'm going to stamp down then butterflies in the middle. But what you've actually got is just half of some butterflies because the other half are missing. And I'm going to come in with the honey pot and I'm going to do the honey pot, so a different shade of yellow around the outside now, right? And then what will happen is we go down over the top of this and it's actually going to give me a double layer of colour, right? So can you see that's going into a different shading again? So we've got like a, a, a burst of colour. Now what I'm going to do is, let's have a little look, I'm going to make sure I clean my stamp down between each time we use it, Joe, um, because I, want, I don't want to kind of cross-infect any of my stamps. So I'm going to come in with the greens. So I've got within the greens, I've got two different shades of green. So I'm going to come spring meadow in the inside, right? Then I'm going to go with the grasshopper around the outside. So I've got some like different shades as it was. Can you see? So I've got two different shades there of the green. 
that we started, I always start with the crafter's companion in the bottom right, turn it round so you've got your crafter's companion in the bottom left now and what that will do is that will give us butterflies in a different shade and colour going into all of the gaps between Love the other that. butterflies, right? And you can see how we've got light butterflies here and dark butterflies here, they're all kind of shading together, all right? Now, let's just get my absolutely dirty rugs out there where we can uh, <laughs> where we can start and clean that stamp down a little bit briefly. Right, I'm gonna come into the third shade. So now, I'm gonna come in with my blues. So I'm gonna start with the blues here, all right? And I'm gonna blend them into different shades of blue. So this is blending into a little bit of parakeet now. Just because I think an ombre is a little bit nice and a bit different, isn't it? We hadn't done an ombre. And now the Crafter's Companion is in the top right. So you can see that Crafter's Companion being up there is going to give me this in a different shade again. Right? So there's my third set of blues in a different shade. And then the last one I'm going to do is I'm going to put some purple up there. And I'm going to put some fuchsia down here. So it, instead of having four shades, we've actually had eight shades of colour. That's incredible. All within the same one. And then I'm using the Crafters Companion up in the top right. So it's going a different shade again. So in this one here, instead of just using, look at that. We've actually got eight different shades of colour. And every little gap is all filled in perfectly. That is so clever. <laughs> but... Had we not had that base, I mean, gone are the days where I even try and make it look easy doing that without having the, the, the platform base. Well, I, I don't, I just continue to use the platform, just breeze over the fact that having the platform will make your life 10 times easier. So if you've, if you've got any of our stamps at all and you haven't worked with the 8x8 platform, please guys, just while we've got it in stock, get it, get hold of it because it will revolutionise your stamping. Absolutely, it will. Uh, if you want to grab hold of it as well, Social, Team Social, have put a link in, pinned to the comments, whether you're watching it on Facebook or YouTube. So you can just click that, and it'll take you through to where that is on our website. So you'll be able to find that really, really easily. Uh, Joyce says, you're a genius, Sarah. A genius? Uh, yeah, talking about the two different shades on the rotation stamps. Nancy says, well, hi, Sarah and Joel. I love the stamping. I have the stamping platform, and I love it. Uh, Megan says, I've been waiting and waiting for the stamping platform to come back in. Snatch that right up straight away uh, very very savvy of you if you want to go for the quick joint pads then absolutely you can they are available right now on the show you've got the crushed velvet the damson wine uh, you've also got as well the fuchsia honey pot jet black lagoon the lemon uh, you've got the orange the pink tulip i'll just show you those uh, you've got the pink tulip the plum jam the ocean blue the spring meadow and the straw bale in there as well really lovely bright vibrant colors uh, across that collection there we've got some more pictures to share with you as well you guys are knocking it out of the park with the pictures today love donna, you guys uh, donna sent this first picture into us love this color combo here so with the blues and those yellows absolutely gorgeous that one thank you for that donna Jillian has also sent this one in. Oh, look at that. That is from our character Over the Edge stamp collection just there uh, that Jillian has taken. That I think it is gorgeous. With It looks like a bit of sparkling going on in the background there as well. Just stunning. Linda sent this one into us as well. Oh, beautiful use of those balloon sentiments there. Really lovely. Uh, good use of the twine there too. Uh, the lovely Mary from Tennessee has also sent something in for us. This is gorgeous. I can't quite see how Mary's done that from here. Can you, George? No? Ooh. Can you see what she's done, Sarah? Oh, no. I do you know Definitely, got, there was, there, I've never the, heard them so silent in my ears. Then. It was like a tumbleweed. lovely metallics. Mary, that's like, well, Mary, tell us. Let us know Let what us you've know, done. Mary. We want to know a bit more. I don't know. Uh, there was literally a tumbleweed blew through the <laughs> studio. I asked that question and there was stony silence. Um, uh, lots of you still chatting away. Uh, so please keep doing so. If you want to send pictures in, it isn't too late to do so as well. Get them into me, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Details are along the bottom of the screen just there. Uh, I know we're fast running out of time, sorry, but I know that you've still got loads that you want to share with us uh, before the end of this show. Uh, well, I desperately want to do that technique in the background that I talked about doing that uh, I can't remember who had done the card and had a go of that, but I'm going to show you all of that, how to do that, right? What you're going to use is, then you think we use like a cello bag. So, 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 so a bit of packaging or something like that, 
just a, one of these cello bags and we're going to use this to transfer all of this onto here right so as long as you looking at the kind of whole space i'm going to make sure that we're a little bit zoomed out on the overhead so that you can see everything okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use for me i'm going to use a mix of the parakeet and then also a little bit of the fuchsia right so joe here's what i'm going to oh i'm going to do need my little spritzer which i've got oh, yep got everything do you know i've got an absolute tip over here you can't see it we always angle the camera a little bit so that you can't see. I'm going to just show you. I'm going to let you come see me for a second. The bit that you can't see is like all down here. <laughs> oh, no, you can't do that. I suppose I'll leave that up there. All this mess down here. Um, but yes, you can't see that. Right, here we go. I'm going to put down here some of the parakeet, right? So I've gotten some mix of colours down here. And then I'm going to blend a little bit of the fuchsia in the middle right so we've got some different shades here and then what i'm going to do joe is just bring in a little bit can you see of the water to blend oh. so it's all just damp and wet right then what i'm doing right is i'm going to pick it up joe oh, with this uh, right i wondered how you'd done this technique ah, so we're picking all that up and then what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up and transfer this onto here, right? And just just put all of that down. Just smushing it. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit more, right? And I'm going to pop a little bit more on here. And I'm going to pop that down there as well, right? So that we've got all of these colours on here. Oh, I've got a little bit more than what I want. Uh, are you there? I think I've got another sheet here. Let's have a little look. A little bit wet for me there, so I'm going to put that down there. Let's just get all of this on, because what, what looks really good is if you kind of put a little bit down like that, Joe. Right? Oh, I like this. Second generation. Yeah, second generation's looking good, isn't it? And then I'm going to pick a little bit more of the pink up here like this. And then I'm going to come over now with the pink for the next one and transfer a little bit of that pink down. Yeah, I like it when it's not quite as wet. this is from an ink pad, which I always struggle to get my head around, which I think is awesome. Here we go, straight onto the, yeah, into the corners there with a little bit more of the pink. So there is how you do that background. Now the only problem is we've got a big mess going on here. What I actually think I'll do, Joe, is while I've got that there, I'm just going to take this. Now hey, this is interesting for you, right? All I'm going to do, guys, is because I've used an army there, I'm going to use this, right? What's just going on here? Well, I just need to cut, right? Don't, don't use a guillotine on your leg, right? Whatever you do, um, I didn't want to waste that. So I, I want to let that, I absolutely love. So I'm going to pop that to one side and then let's go again, Joe. Uh, which side did I have on my, this side here? Right, let's go again, picking some more up and getting the next shade like this, look. I want to know oh, what my fabulous. next generation's looking like. I want, to, I want to do a few while I'm on, that's it, you've lost me. You've lost me, John. Oh, they are awesome. Uh, Panda Crust says, I've finally got the platform and base during the show. We've been patiently waiting forever, she says. I'm so glad that you managed to pick that up because it is fabulous. Don't forget, this is not your only show, uh, the last show of the day here. Oh, no. Oh, you got Oh, Crawford. no, it isn't. Oh, no, it isn't either. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, uh, it's a nature's garden craft fault that myself and Sarah are going to be up with. Uh, well, what is left of it? Because we had a very, very busy first airing uh, this morning at 11 a.m. So make sure uh, you come back and join us at 7 p.m. UK time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so uh, do make sure you join us for that. It's going to be great, isn't it, Sarah? It is going to be great indeed. Now look at this. We've got three completely. I think different. the last one is my favourite. Do you think that so? That pickup one is my favourite yeah, for just, sure. Just showing you all different types. Now I am going to before I end up staining the back here. I'm just going to get all this cleaned up. I have literally got ink. Every, I mean, my hands are absolutely pitted. But this is what happens when we've got full-on inky technique shows like this. And I love these shows because there's loads and loads of kind of different techniques that we can get, okay? So there was one, there's another one that we did, and then there was another one that we did. So three completely... Just from a little smush of ink as well. A little, little smush of ink onto the cello bag. I love the idea of doing it on the cello bag. And bear in mind, we did that with a uh, blue, so we did it with the parakeet and the fuchsia. Those were the two shades that we used when we made our own shade of purple. Now, Beautiful. what I'm going to do is that was just a background for me. 
because what I then want to do is actually do a little bit of colouring with this. So the actual card itself, that's, that's giving me the background piece. This, I've stamped an embossed jaw. And what I want to show you is, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to pop a little bit, should I put it to the side or at the top? I'll put it to the side. So the fuchsia there, right? And then also, uh, I think we'll mix a bit of parakeet, but then also maybe it's a little bit of midnight we can bring in there. And all I'm going to do is use that lovely kind of fine tip on the brush. And because this has been embossed, heat embossed in white, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of wet this so we're doing wet into wet. Right? It's been a heat embossed, did you say? Heat embossed with white, right. with the opaque pigments, right? And so now when I start and colour over this, can you see? It resists against the white. Love this technique to do because it's white on white. Can you see ah, that it's going to completely go. resist? There you go. It's like a secret floral message. It is like a secret floral message, isn't it? So I will keep going and secretly messaging you, Joe. Okay. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you tell me what everybody's saying about this. Uh, so uh, Ash, Ash is saying my crafting space is 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters. That trick with the guillotine. I'm doing it all the time. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> you get in trouble. Uh, Joy says we love you, Sarah. Lol. Yes. Do not try this at home. Uh, Teresa. Do as I say, not as I do. Absolutely. Teresa, uh, Essie says, love your inky background, Sarah. And Teresa's saying, I love this technique. Loads of love for all of these techniques that we've shared with you. I hope we've really inspired you to try something new with your ink pads, you know. And the ink pads, of course, are just a fraction of what we bring you under the Spectrum Noir umbrella. Definitely go back and have a look at all of the different products uh, that are available and all of the different Colour Me Happies uh, that have come before this one uh, because there are so, so many uh, of them. There's got to be at least, mm, how many? There's probably about 45, 50 Colour Me Happies that are available for you people to go back and watch over well, yeah, on the Crafters we've done, Tea area. We've done one a week. And we've done one a week since... But it was since, was it April? Was it April, I think we started? Yeah, I think April. Happy. Probably about, yeah, 40, about 46, 47 of them are available now for you. So absolutely, that's over, well, yeah, it's over 90 hours. That's three whole days, Sarah. That's three whole days no, just to watch the that. Colour Me Happy. It's like nearly four days. You'll have a lovely time. Uh, you really, really will. Maybe do some sort of marathon or something. You know, do them all, do them all back to back. You'll, be, you'll have a very colourful time. Uh, this is fabulous. Now, you're doing some for floral, Sarah. I'm guessing if we wanted to do this with like a word or something, could you just do a wash over the top if you wanted to? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, like, the, I like to be able to like reveal this. Now, the trick is you want to be going wet into wet. So can you see, I've used a lot of that. I'm going to bring a little bit more yellow in here. Yeah. So um, you, the, the wetter the image is, the easier it kind of like blends. Because what you want it to do, you're going to essentially grab the ink with the, um, oh, what do you call it? With the, it's like the, um, oh, the raised embossed pieces, right? So those raised embossed pieces kind of catch all the ink that we're working on within there. So just putting the leaves in here, Joe, and then I'm going to do that last little bit in the pink on the top there as well. And that's uh, giving us that whole kind of image there. Isn't that lovely? It's just, it just kind of appears just in front beautiful. of you, doesn't it? It's and then do you know what I'm going to do? Well. I'm going to use a little bit of that parakeet and I'm going to go really, really wash it out a lot. And then I'm going to try and do like a little bit of a halo around the outside. So just up, just out of your shot here, just quite where you can't see. There it is. Can you see? I've just like made it really, really watery. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do like a bit of a bit of a blue wash around the outside to anchor the whole thing here, Joe. Oh, awesome. That looks gorgeous. Molly says, this has been a spectacular show. Well, it's not over yet, Molly. Uh, Bernie says, oh, I love the embossed resist technique. So calming and soothing. Denise says, Sarah makes me want to pull my inks out. Uh, Pamela says, her hands are blue from playing with the inks too, Sarah. You're not alone there. Mary says, I love all of the techniques, although this one is my favourite. Oh, Please make I'm more resist ink papers like those that came with a Sparkle Inks subscription box. I don't know what those yep. are, I don't think, do you, Sarah? I know what they're talking about, and I totally agree, actually. Yes, we should absolutely do more resist papers. It's where we do the um, pre-emboss everything for you, Joe, basically. Ah. Yeah. 
That sounds fun. You just, it is. And, and then, then you just get you to do all the add, calorie add stuff. Colour over the top. Brilliant. What a great, great idea. Uh, keep getting your comments into us as well. This looks gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Then the blue around it really ground it and finish it off. Makes it look totally different than it did before. It just really brings it up, doesn't it? And then again, all I like to do is you can then watercolour around the outside because you want that to kind of like just wash right out. I love doing this. I always love um, any of my images that I work with. I always do like to give them this kind of like wash around the outside with a nice pale blue. I just think it looks really professional when you do it. Looks like proper watercolour work, doesn't it? So there you go. So that's giving it that lovely bit of grounding. And that there was actually me just showing you how you do. That's how you do that image. That is how we did the background as well. The two techniques I'd used together to make this card here. So that lovely spread, it was more blue on the one that, this is the great thing about these sort of techniques, you'll never get the same colour twice. And then this is when it dries and um, you le get left with just the intensity of the colour and of course the white of the embossing in the background. That it looks fabulous. gorgeous, absolutely wonderful. Do you want me to remind you by the way, seeing as I'm anchoring for card of the show, uh, do you want me just to get clear? Do you want me to show you all of the cards that I I've done so. so that you can be voting and I've still probably got time to squeeze another demo in? Absolutely. Right. So we've got the rose one, right, that we just did. And, and obviously that's two techniques in one. Then we've got, oh, that's what, what type of flower is this? Joe, what did you say? Uh, a pink one. <laughs> that's right. a pink flower. Helpful, really helpful. <laughs> Uh, okay, so if anyone knows what that is, just let us know, right? And then you can vote for that one called that. Uh, <laughs> then we've got the uh, the grungy butterflies, which was the very, very first one that we did. Uh, we also had, oh, we did like that one, the embossed one, the oh, embossed scrolls, right? And then we've also got the um, the one that we did, which was the rose, right? Did I call, did I call two of them rose? Yeah, we'll call that layered stamping right so you've got five different you've got the laid stamping you've got the 3d embossing you've got the butterflies you've got the um pink flower pink flower <laughs> or you've got the rose okay that we've brilliant done get and, voting and I, mean, I know i've done some other bits and pieces but we did we didn't make a full card that's what we've been doing there yeah awesome get voting across on facebook and on youtube so uh you can uh, see which one is going to be your favourite. Right, I want to recap some of the stuff that's on the show. We're going to start off with the quick dry ink pads because these are fantastic value for money. Here you can see absolutely everything that you are getting there. £50 or $70, that becomes £40 or $56. But remember, if you're spending over 30, you're going to get an extra five back as well, even in conjunction with your Club Inspire discount as well. So it means that you get them for what? £35 or $51. I was going to say that it would be, well, it'd be less than £3 per ink pad then in that, in that case. I mean, that is unbelievable. I am catching flies, Georgina, yes. I am, my flabber is ghasted. Less than £3 for an ink pad. We've got to be joking, haven't we? Anyway, there's that in the show. Don't miss those. The colours that you're getting there are gorgeous. Well, you've got Crushed Velvet, Damson Wine, Fuchsia, Honey Pot, Jet Black, Lagoon, Lemon Tonic, Orange, Pink Tulip, Plum Jam, the Ocean Blue, Spring Meadow, and the Straw Bale in there as well. Uh, you've also got up next the um, Sentiment Stamps. These ones just here, brilliant. So uh, in here, these are fantastic. You've got three different collections in here. You've got the Essential Collection, which is this one just here. Uh, you've also got the Ornate Swirls, and you've got for the frame sentiments in there as well. You receive all three packs of those, which is fantastic. It's a buy two, get one free situation, which is great. Let me just grab the birthday stamp. Now these I think are a must have in your stash because the thing about them is that they are, you get the stamps and the dies by the way, which is fantastic. And the thing about these is that what you've got is something that's gonna get you out of a crafty hole because it doesn't matter where you are in the year, what the occasion is, you're gonna be able to go to that month flower and get something awesome. So you've got your carnations, there are primroses, you've got daffodils for the March one, April is your daisy, Lily of the Valley comes your way in May. Ju You're getting them all now, by the way. Um, it's not some sort of um, auto shipment. June is your rose. July is the Delphinium. You have got the Gladiolus for August. The Aster in September. You also have the Marigold in October. 
November's your chrysanthemum, and of course, Christmas, uh, December is going to be your poinsettia, which is awesome. Uh, so do grab those. The 3D embossing folders, these are fantastic. I love these. Uh, these are our lace embossing folders. I just think they're brilliant. They are really, really awesome. The amount of detail here that you get in there. I love the fact that you've got that gossamer lace scroll in there, but what you've also then got is in the background, you've then got that sort of hashing in the background as well. So it gives you a multitude of interest on so many different layers. This one here is the lavish love, blah, 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 lavish letter that you've got here uh, are just beautiful I mean it is gorgeous isn't it I think that is wonderful uh, this one here is your vintage scroll very French very classy I love the colorway that's been used there this one is your peony bouquet which is great for those florals but again I love you got all that floral element but then I love that you've got that beautifully embossed background in there too so so much for you this one just here is your climbing ivy which is awesome and again so much level of detail on there for you this one is your grande butterfly really awesome that one just there now make sure you grab those 32 pounds or 46 dollars if you want to get your hands on all of those which is fantastic uh, we've also got the blending collection on the show for you this one here a lot of you asking about these. So you've got the round and square blending tools. You're also going to receive in here the round and square refills, which are fantastic. You've got the spritzing tool, which is this one here. You've also got the blending eggs, and you've then got as well the mat, which is fantastic. It's the heat resistant, non-slip mat, Great for doing your inking uh, on there, which is fantastic. Uh, right, uh, we've got a winner, Sarah. Oh, how about you're a I winner? Because I've still got about ten minutes to go. Well, I mean, you've got, you've got, you've got, you've got four, three minutes left of the voting. Technically, at the minute, there's a winner. Uh, at the minute, it's Pink Flower that has it. But you've got three minutes to change that. It's Pink Flower, this one here. No, what yes. What you call Pink Flower? That right. was Pink Flower. So we like Pink Flower. Ah, well, but it's, guys, if you don't agree, that's what's in the lead at the moment. Butterfly is a close. Butterfly is a close second at butterfly the moment. Butterfly is a close second. Let me remind you of the butterfly. In case you like the butterfly, I mm. did like that one too. Right? Do so make your voice heard. Look. I've still got time to do another one though, right? So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this card here. So we're going to do the fairy. And can you see these different shades and layers? So what I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm just working. I've just kind of ripped a little bit like this, okay? So I'm going to start here, first of all, with a little bit of the pink tulip, right? And just build up little bit of my first colour, all right? So I'm just using those blending tools here, all right? And then once we get them there, right, I'm going to pop this down here and then I'm going to come again with my next layer, all right? So what we, end, what we should end up with when we bring this one in here, can you see, is we will end up with like the next layer, but it'll look like there's a little bit can you see that there? Oh yeah, right. I like that. So I'm going to start, I'm going to bring this one in now here so we can get a little bit more. And you're always just kind of building up that, that ink and kind of layerage, right? Then the same on here, so I can build that up there. And I'm just all the time, oh, putting a little bit more ink onto there. Now I'm trying to rush because we've only got a few minutes left on the show, but you're definitely getting the idea of how to kind of build up this shading, aren't you? And I'm going from, uh, oh, let's pop you back on there. So I'm going from a little bit of the pink tulip, and I'm going to start and build up now into the fuchsia, right? Awesome. So I'm going to start and get the next kind of deeper shade one. Um, let's have a look. I'll pop that on here now so that we can kind of get that coming down over that, that edge bit there. So we start and blend the two colours in together, first of all, and just building them up. Joe. And these are your water reactive, are they here, Sarah? They are indeed. Always the water reactive when you're wanting to do these kind of blending techniques on Brilliant. here. Brilliant. Oh, we have a winner, Sarah. Go on, yes. It's the pink flower. It's still a pink flower. I thought there was still a couple of minutes left, but you know, I don't. Mm. I have no preference because I realise I'm going to win anyway, aren't I? They're for all the week my or cards. Just for the show. They're all my cards, so I can't They're not win. Yeah. <laughs> they are indeed. Uh, Sarah is eyeing her second win. Who's in the lead, actually? Uh, Debbie Robinson is the only person on two wins at the moment. She is out in the lead. She's We're still out in the lead. Get, 
Debbie Fisher and Bernie need to, we need to get them both off the mark. So no pressure this weekend, guys. No pressure, guys. You've got to do really We'll try good and one. get that rigged so they get a... Right. You know. So there's how you can get that multi-layer background, right? And then what I'm going to do is, Joe, I'm going to bring this in onto the 8x8 stamping platform. And I'm going to show you how you can use the... Um, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring my other one in because I've got the other one here. Right, because I've stuck a little bit of stick and spray over the background. So can you see, it just holds it in place a little bit further still. I've always got a couple of these on the go, folks. I'm not being, just being honest here, right? It's one of the most useful tools you'll own. Now, I've got some brand new stamps out, Joe. I have got some brand new stamps out. Tell me I've got some brand new stamps out. Uh, I had some brand new stamps right at my fingertips and now I'm just looking. Can you see them in front of Where me, Where are they right in front of you? I don't they're know. They're right in front of me. They really are. Did you put your cards over them? No. Are they under the piece of blue kitchen towel? No, okay. Yes, right. <laughs> I wanted to show you, in case you'd had any of our rubber stamps, people were asking about the rubber stamps before. So I thought, right, I'm going to show you how the rubber stamps work, okay? Because you get your scissors, and I'm going to take that fairy, for example, and I'm going to cut out just the fairy on her own, right? So all the way through, and these are all separate individual stamps. So when you get them, you need to cut them out, right? So you just cut them out separately like that, right? And then to get this to stick onto here, you're going to bring in, just protect your work surface. So I'm going to just use Brenda, and I'm going to use my spray adhesive. So the thing with the rubber stamps is, they're not, it's not like acrylic or photopolymer whereby they're already sticky. They're not. So our stick and spray or any sort of repositionable adhesive is basically going to give them a sticky background. But any time you are using that repositionable adhesive, you need to wait at least 30 seconds, right, before you pop that on. Now, let's have a little look. I'm going to pop my fairy in the middle here, right? I'm going to come down and pick her up. Now, I know when it comes to doing really kind of crisp, clear stamping. Oh, hang on, is she... I don't know if she's all laid down properly. I want her feet in the middle as so she's standing on there. Right, there we go. Now we'll pick her up right. So, I really haven't waited long enough for that, but you get the idea, right? Now, Noir Black. What happens is, if I put this down and I'll try and make it so that she's not that clear. So I've tried not to put too much ink on there, right? So I can stamp her down. And if when I lift it up, I think, oh, look. A body looks a little bit like it's missing a few bits. It doesn't look very good. Get in close and you'll see exactly what I mean, folks, right? So if this was your image and you'd stamp this, right, you would be a little bit disappointed with that around the body jaw, wouldn't you? Oh, I see what you mean there. A little yeah. bit patchy, isn't it? A little bit patchy. So all you're going to do, and bear in mind, folks, I've done this on purpose so that I can demonstrate this. I'm not just a rubbish teacher, right? I wanted to be able to show you when I come back on with this again, and stamp it down a second time what we've done is we've gone right over the Love now it. she's looking good i might go a third time just right in the middle of her body here and say right i want it to be really intensive so i'm going to go right in the middle there and i know that every time i pop it down joe i'm not going to get it slightly off center it's not going to shadow or anything oh, that's it's brilliant now out. isn't it Perfect. So if you want her to be perfectly black as night like that, what you need is, you need to know that you can keep putting the lid down in exactly the same place. That is because you've got that magnetic base with the holes to fit that in perfectly. And, and I'm not going to get time to finish the card off, but there is the card that I've finished. So you can see there, we've used that technique of blending all that and then just stamped some of the vines coming down from the top as well. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Absolutely brilliant. I think it's so lovely. Uh, such a really effective technique, that Sarah, as well. Uh, don't forget to check out your baskets. I mean, we have had, that's been a jam-packed Colour Me Happy Masterclass, isn't it? I love Colour Me Happy. I, 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 love, I love being able to go into really in depth on any of our colouring mediums whether it's you know whether it's like the ink pads or when we've done it with the, tri the tri-band blends I did a couple of weeks ago I just love the colouring always gets me one of my favourite shows of the week of Friday mm, afternoon colour me happy and this isn't the end of the day for us Joe is it not? No of course not we've got Crown Five in Nature's Garden yes. oh, which is going to be awesome good news nothing's sold out yet although some stuff is very much 
uh, on the brink. Don't forget to check out your baskets. I hope that you'll join myself and Sarah back here in an hour's time. Uh, definitely go and get yourself a shop to head for that craft folk show as well. I reckon we've got time for a couple now, don't you? A bit of a natter, Sarah. I absolutely have got time for a couple. I'm ready for a refill. We'll see you in about an hour for. See you then. Take care.